Hello, you beautiful lot. My name's Purple, and this is Leanne. Hi, everyone. I hope you're all safe and well. And this is the Cotch. If you like our videos, then please hit the like and subscribe button, and then hit the little bell for the notifications, and you can keep getting videos about the stuff I'm learning and what everybody else is reliving. Peace, love, and light with a touch of North Ants unity. Hello you beautiful lot, it's Purple and Leanne and we're on our little wanders again so because we're in a lockdown you know we can't go too far so I've been sitting at home thinking what can I do? Mm. Uh, then I see a news report that my home estate, the Hemingwell, is one of the new, most notorious estates to walk through. Of course this is my home estate and I've walked it many a times because of all the Greenland I mean, there was even a report when the estate was first built in the 1980s that everybody wanted to move to this estate because of all of its greenland. And of course, then in the, in the late 80s, it became notorious for crime. So, I'm just going to show you how beautiful it is and take you on a bit of a tour, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So, starting here, we've got Eastfield Park. And of course, Eastfield Park was a great quarry at one point. And I do believe it was used to take out a lot of the iron ore out of here. And of course, a lot of the remainders were used to build the estates. But this is talking way back in the early 19th century. Yeah, right. But from here, what me and Leanne are going to do is we are going to go down Nest Lane and head straight down to the bottom. But we're heading to the Koch because we will find our first gem. Over in the distance, over this one here, is Oakway Academy, Infants and Junior School, where I attended. Did you go there? Yes. Ah, and Leanne attended. And in the back distance, behind the new houses, is the secondary school, Sir Christopher Hatton, named after, yeah, the great Hatton family. Uh, I do believe they used to reside at Kirby Hall. I'll see if I can find a picture of that one, because we will go visit that one in the summer. Kirby Hall is beautiful. visit somewhere else first yeah Ness Farm Road and this one we're on is Ness Lane Sweetie Pie. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of little sweetie birds. So, this little area on my right hand side is the old rugby pitch for Wellingbrook. And it looks like they're doing a little something in there, actually. I wonder what they're doing. I'll have to go check that out in a minute. But yeah, this is uh, Wellingborough Old Rugby Club. And this used to be their pitch before it all got twist turned and they started playing elsewhere. Um, <clears throat> uh, a good friend, Ray Stewart, just tell me when it was here when he moved up here in the 70s. So somewhere between the 70s and mid 80s, this would have been abandoned, I suppose. Right, now what we want to do is we want to make our way actually into the estate. Um, and head up one of the little green ways to the next little gem on our journey.
yeah, the Hemingway has so many green spaces. It's, it's actually pretty beautiful. Um, <laughs> a lot of the locals around here know it as H-Way, or Little London, because many different cultures that reside here. Um, including the, uh, the folk of Montserrat, who well, in 1997 got evacuated from the island of Montserrat because the volcano was spewing out horrendous amounts for probably about the third time in the space of 10 years. So when they evacuated the Montserrats from Montserrat Island, a lot of them come to our estate and build in our culture. But you'll also find in these estates is there's these little courtyards. And of course, this, this actual square where I used to live in myself, and in the summer, every, all these different families come out on their doorsteps and all the children play in these squares. And these squares are all over the place. Proper tight-knit community. <laughs> Big shout out to uh, Sally and Fred in Arulva. Sally and Fred, they're in Arulva. <laughs> right, we're gonna head up there. You see down there, yeah? You know where them blue garages are? Yeah, right Behind the there, that's yeah. where I used to play, like, uh, on the, the fields further There used down. to be a playground down there as well, but the council took that up. Yeah. And this, <laughs> this little <laughs> bit here is what is known as the rat run. Because uh, there's uh, a gentleman, or I know myself, known as Rat Boy. Um, we used to come down this hill on our skateboards. We used to hit some mega speed. And this lump at the end of the path would literally send you flying. Anyway, dear old rat boy come flying off his bike and ended up skidding from there, probably in between these two trees like a goal. And it, it made <laughs> this hill famous, known as the rat run. <sighs> we want to go up here. It's the amount of junk that's on these council estates of Wellingborough that makes me think what councillors actually just don't care about these beautiful little estates where everyone is actually living and the, commu the communities down here are glorious. I mean, this is the old pond. So of course, you've got the community centre and the shop at the top. And this whole bit here used to be a beautiful pond. And I have got an old photo of some people sitting here, so the photo I've got is literally looking there. And the only remaining piece that you've got left of this pond is just on the other side. Me personally, I'd rather live on this estate than our wizard's tail down the embankment. But yeah, here it is. The old steps. It's crazy, isn't it? So, if you had to go down the steps and sit by the pond. I do believe they got rid of the pond because there was a couple of drownings. Um, and for some reason they thought it best that they got rid of it. That is only only hearsay on the Hemingwell. I, I don't know, maybe maybe the spring or the well that used to feed it all up got took elsewhere or just dried up. Anyway, Hemingwell Pond. Well, was. We're going to make our way up to the, uh, the little shop area where you've got the community centre which was run by the church, I do believe. I like that. I like that it's Nest Farm Rosemary. And the Hope Project. <laughs> now, the Hope Centre was started up by a gentleman named Simon. Um, I believe he's living out abroad now, but he put these certain little organisations in place and was a pillar of the community. So, yeah, big shout out to Simon. This is the well nursery now, um, but of course when I was little it was known as the Swallow Pub. 
Oh. Yeah, people forever having fights in there. Mm. But yeah, they got rid of the pub and turned it into a community hub and playgroup centre. So it's all good. And this is KD Supermarket. And God bless Canty. He's no longer with us, but his son still runs the shop. And back when I was little, this community centre here was actually Canty's shop. And of course, he went bankrupt. But the whole community pillared together and donated a lot of money to him to be able to buy the little corner shop and remain in it. Because of course, everybody loved Canty and his wife and his sons. Yeah. Remains of Hemingwell Lodge Farm. That new set of flats here, before them was actually the Hemingwell Lodge um, elderly folks' home. I think it was a nursing home or something. Anyway, Hemingwell Lodge nursing home and it was huge, it was pretty beautiful and then of course they destroyed it to put in more houses they did turn it into a, um, uh, a doctor's surgery when Gold Street set fire Gold Street doctors set fire so, that's a shame, we'll see if I can find some pictures of that one uh, look at this so much. The Hemingway. Big shout out to the Collymores. These trees that are here, they're actually part of the orchard for the Hemingwell Lodge farm. Although when we were little we were told that this concrete platform just here was one of the outbuildings for the farm. So maybe it came out all this way. The concrete platform. And that, and that was one of the outbuildings for the farm lodge. The last remaining part of Hemingwell Lodge Farm. In all my life, I've been coming down here. The house I was brought up in is one of those just along that bit there. The Hemingwell Lodge Farm. And of course, you've got Robin Lane in the background. Big shout out to the Anderson Reeves. Um, big shout out to everybody that lives along there, of course. And of course, old Boney and his missus, lovely. Big shout out to all me Hemingwell home lot. Gillymott Lane Park and uh, the Hope Centre, of course. And this was our football pitch when I was really little. So all of us that lived along here would all come out. Big shout out to the Partingtons. And <laughs> big shout out to Flip. Big shout out to the Miles. Big shout out to my auntie and my mum. Love you guys. And Rachel Underwood. <laughs> Shh. 
shout out to all me uh, old school lot where we all used to play 4040 and play tag around the bridge. That is what we had. And me. Goodbye, everyone. And we'll see you all in the future. Peace, love, and light. We're a touch of North Alpha. <laughs>